Hello everybody. Well, it's the 23rd of December today. Oh my goodness. How many days does that make it till Christmas? Two. It's two days till Christmas. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Oh wow. That is just too exciting. Far too exciting for me. Okay. Today. I want to tell you the real meaning of Christmas and it involves every single character that you find on the nativity. So why don't you listen really carefully to the story and see if you can work out who is who. Dear little one, this is the very last story but it's also the most important one. It is called the Christmas story and it's the reason why we celebrate Christmas. In a little village, a young woman was sweeping up. All of a sudden, in the corner of the room stood an angel. Mary was a bit frightened, but the angel said that they had come with a message from God. God has chosen you to have a baby and he will be a very special baby who is for all the world. Mary couldn't believe the news. Can you see Mary? And can you see the angel? Oh, oh yeah. Here's Mary. And oh yeah. There's the angel look. Oh, I wonder who we'll see next in this story. Joseph was also visited by the angel who told him that the baby would be called Jesus. So which one is Joseph, do we think? Do you think it's the man sat, stood next to Mary? I think this might be Joseph. Yeah. There's Joseph. Mm. Mary and Joseph had to travel all the way to Bethlehem to be counted by the Roman army. It was a very long journey and poor Mary was so tired. The little grey donkey carried her along and it was very dark and cold when they finally arrived in Bethlehem. Where's the donkey? There he is. We've already met him, haven't we? Yes. There we go. They knocked on door after door looking for a place to stay but the town was very busy and there was no room for them at last a kind innkeeper told them that they could stay in his stable that night the baby was born and mary wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in the manger which was full of hay for the animals oh. Baby Jesus, look. Oh, let's put him back with his mummy. There we are. Okay, who are we going to meet next? On the hills outside Bethlehem, there were lots of shepherds who were looking after their sheep. An angel started singing in the sky, and then the sky lit up with lots of angels singing. The angels told the shepherds that if they wanted to go to Bethlehem, they would find the baby. The shepherds were very excited and hurried off to see the baby. They found him lying in the manger. They gave the baby a little lamb as a very special gift. After that, they left and went around telling everyone that they had seen the baby. Mm. Oh, here he is, look. There's the shepherds. There we are. There's the shepherd. Mm. 
In the sky, a special star had appeared, and it was followed from the east by wise men. They came to visit the baby and brought him some very special gifts. They brought gold to show that the baby was a king. They brought frankincense to show that the baby was God's son. And they brought myrrh to show that he would save his people. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can remember who everybody is. So you've got Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, the donkey, the angel, the shepherd, and one, two, three wise men. And let's not forget the camel. Reminds me of a song, Away in a Manger. Do you know it? Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Well, tomorrow is Christmas Eve and we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to celebrate Jesus coming by singing some Christmas carols and having some fun together. So I'll see you tomorrow and let's have some fun. Bye bye.